morning. Uh, good morning, everybody. It's a pleasure for me to, to present the, the results of, uh, of our project research in, in France. Uh, I will specifically uh, talk about the, the recent developments in between 2013 and 2015. Uh, um, I would like to say that the, the ALERT project is a uh, collaborative project of, of research in France uh, that has, uh, uh, has recently finished it. Uh, in its, its current development, so I will focus in uh, in the work we have done in between uh, 2013 and 2015, and especially in uh, the, in our public archaeology um, uh, um, process and the um, the effects of, uh, of winter impact on, on coastal archaeology in 2014. So the the objective of the LR project have been the construction of a vulnerability model for coastal heritage. Uh, depending on the nature of the environment, the development of monitoring maps, and the creation of strategies for research and action adapted to the local and regional scales. All these goals lay not only on the participation of scientists, but also on the public contribution. As cooperative life is an important part of the French culture, the main objective of, of our project was to put together associations and local prospectors, which have been working for years as volunteers in coastal surveys and focus their observations in order to produce uh, different vulnerability models. Thanks to the active work made uh, during the last, the last uh, 30 years by regional and local associations of archaeology, professional archaeologists, and local volunteers, more than 1,500 1, archaeological sites have been identified within the coastal area in Brittany. The whole coast has been uh, surveyed uh, and our objective was not to increase the, the number, this number, but to collaborate with them and with regional authorities to provide them tools to assess coastal erosions in archaeological sites. A regular survey is then necessary in order to rank them and identify the sites at risk. So we will be able to adapt the rescue strategies. The strategies should be adapted to regional issues on Brittany. Regional coastline presents a great diversity of natural features. As we can see, different coast with mainly flat coast in, in southern Brittany and northern and in northern Brittany, rocky coast, different features. So I'm taking into, into account this geomorphologic diversity of the region, not all the areas are equal facing the erosion. As it had been noticed in, in winter 2014, flat coast in this area and in this area, in western and northern Brittany, are especially vulnerable to winter storms, and several sites in those areas had been damaged. Since uh, 2006, uh, the ALERT project has brought together uh, researchers involved in coastal archaeology in an, inter in an interdisciplinary project. The first step uh, was to create a dedicated methodology, the Vulnerability Evaluation Form which has been tested between 2007 and 2010 in Brittany, but also in northwestern Spain, thanks to an international program between French CNRS and Spanish CSIC. Um, this, methodology, this methodology provides a vulnerability score to each archaeological site by observing a series of variables and ranking them according to their nature and intensity. The methodology considers 10 variables corresponding to different threats or protections or observables on the sites, each of them being easily measured not only by researchers, but also by knowing specialists. Variables can be grouped under the general concept of hazards, uh, having a negative impact on the sites, and the concept of resilience, which means that some factors can have a positive impact on the sites, rising their resistance. In a second stage, the results of, the met of this methodology are transforming mathematic values, where this score results from the ratio between resi resilience and hazards. Mm, this methodology has been integrated in a mobile application in 2012, uh, so it could be accessible not only by archaeologists, but also by local volunteers. The application allows the user to type and transmit all the relevant information, including the full set of variables, for its sites to a secure server. The benefits of this new technology development is to facilitate the identification and data collection on the field, to save time in the, transformation, in the transmission of the information, to provide a, a precise location of the observed site, 
and to allow the immediate, ins the immediate insertion of photos. Real development of, the, of, of our social project has started in 2013, uh, thanks to the funds from the region of Brittany and the creation of a postdoctoral position. So uh, concerning the social engagement issue, one of the main results is the, of, um, of the project between 2013 and 2015 was the consolidation of an alert network, which is now constituted by professionals of the REN Department of Archaeology, about 30 uh, local volunteers, mainly retired persons, local and regional historical and archaeological societies, museums, and obviously the support of competent authorities, the Regional Archaeological, Archaeological Service in Brittany, and the Department of Underwater and Marine Archaeological Research, both of them depending on the Ministry of Culture in, in France. This network uh, covers almost the whole coast of the, of the region. And an important step for us is the new partnership has, which has been seen between the Littoral Conservatoire in Brittany and the University of Rennes. The objective of this uh, partnership uh, is to train coast guards in coastal archaeology. And for that, a specific training has been set up uh, last winter. Coast Guard, for us, Coast Guard, who are always working in the field, could help us to improve the quality of monitoring the coastal heritage vulnerability. This partnership will provide a long-term collaboration between, ar between archaeologists and Coast Guards, so they can alert us from damage in archaeological sites located in littoral conservatoire properties. As this la last winter has been really quiet compared to precedent winter, the results of these partnerships should be later evaluated. Recently, a survey between volunteers and members of the Alert, World Alert Network has been launched by one of our students, Thibaut Perez. The sample corresponds to 38 uh, respondents, most of them experienced volunteers in coastal archaeological survey. The objective of this work was to identify the behavior of our volunteers, the activities, the study area, and their wishes. Two types of uh, prospectors have been identified. Those who practice uh, coastal survey in group with an academic purpose, um, mostly, mainly men with higher education, and on the other hand, uh, amateurs with long experience in coastal survey, but with basic education, and most of them retired persons who do this survey alone or with friends in small groups. The second one is the profile type of the most active members of the Alert project, of the Alert network. They are especially interested in prehistoric sites, and uh, they can identify flint, flint tools from, mid, from Middle Paleolithic through to Mesolithic due to its field experience. Their study area is mainly located about 50 kilometers around, but most of them do regular surveys after every storm. The, the results has been integrated in a GIS, so this information will be used to, as, for us as an, interest, as an interesting management tool. We can quickly, quickly contact them in case of potential damages or let them to survey those areas at risk. Thanks to this survey, we have already noticed some empty areas with no active survey. So we can here, we can see here and here. And with potential damages due to its coastal feature especially in southwestern Britain. Concerning the, the, the field work, coastal vulnerability has been tested out in 2014 after an exceptional run of winter storms that have severely affected the Atlantic and Channel coast of Western Europe. An intensive field work campaign was carried out in February and March 2014 in close relationship with local volunteers. This field work has been useful for presenting the volunteers our methodology and try to unify the data collection. 94 sites have been evaluated in 2014. In 2015, the situation has been completely different and reports of damages have considerably decreased. For each site in the database, a vulnerability score has been calculated. And the spatial distribution of dots are on the vulnerability map shows a majority of high um, vulnerability values in Western Brittany. They are located on shoreline positions with high values for weathering, low value for the resistance of the remains, and no legal protection. The, this high score value is the result of an important retreat of, of coastline in this area. 
So fieldwork has been uh, concentrated in different littoral zones in Brittany, according to its coastal configuration of the presence of active uh, prospectors in this area. One of these zones is the Santec and Ildeva sector in the Bay of Morley area in northern Brittany, where two local amateurs uh, survey its littoral for more than 30 years. In this zone, with a flat littoral exposed to the northwest, winter 2014 storms have resulted in the discovery of new sites and cultural remains, but have also caused damage to coastal archaeological sites. Two examples of damages in this area are a Bronze Age cyst discovered by one of, by one of these local amateurs in, 2000 and in 1979, here, hanging from a soft cliff, and during winter 2014, the soft cliff returned in nearly two meters back, and the cyst completely disappeared. But simultaneously, and thanks to the cliff retreat, another Bronze Age burial cyst was found within the same cliff, so we can see here and the other one was located just here, has completely disappeared. And another site, it's an Iron Age boiling, boiling site, which has been which has been surveyed at least uh, since 2006. Uh, oh, it's a site to, to produce um, uh, a boiling site in, um, in a small island in, in, in Santeca. So we can see the, the evolution the evolution between 2006 and 2015, where the site has uh, almost completely destroyed, destroyed. And after the evaluation of its vulnerability, one of these sites, the small island of Rock Santeca, located two kilometers away from the shore of Santeca, has been chosen to carry out an excavation as the site was severely damaged. A rescue strategy was then necessary as no excavation has been carried out before even if the risk of erosion has, has been pointed out since 1995. After the, the assessment we have done in 2014, we have noticed important damage to the site, especially in the center of the island, flooded by high waves, where a shell midden, which was located here, all this area, uh, has been almost completely destroyed if we compare these photos taken in 1995 with this photo taken last year. A rescue strategy was then necessary due to the, its interesting archaeological potential with a strategy conserved in more than one and a half meters, which is rare in this region. The strategy should be adapted to the isolation of the island where the access is very difficult and file work is subject to low tide conditions and limited to four hours per day. Field work consisted in a long section of more than seven meters, seven meters through the island so we can better understand site formation and also force might small ditches in the inside part of the, of the site. After our excavation, for four periods of occupation have been identified. The oldest one dated from Middle Paleolithic, located in this level. Another one dated from Upper Paleolithic, in this level here. Another one from the Early Mesolithic, uh, here. And the later period dated from the Iron Age, which correspond to these uh, walls you can see here on this, on all this, this area. Uh, we finish, I will uh, sum up uh, the, the synthesis of our work between 2000 for, uh, 13, 2015, uh, with where recent evidence of stream weather impact on coastal archaeology have provoked a huge mo mobilization of local population in Brittany, and a growing interest of public archaeological uh, of public archaeological initiatives. Local population is now informed of, of erosion in archaeological site problem, and the regular media presence has helped us to raise to raise public awareness. Thanks to uh, this social pressure. Competent authorities in France are now aware of this important loss of heritage and coastal erosion is now in the agenda of the Ministry of Culture. An important step has been the development of a budget which will fund rescue excavation within coastal area, budget by the Ministry of Culture in, in France. We do hope that the starting discussion with, uh, with, the, with this ministry will lead us to satisfying strategies in the future. On the other hand, 
We also have noticed the lower impact of mobile technologies, which is related to the old age of, mo of most of our users, who prefer to use web platforms and other systems. And at the same time, we also have perceived mistrust in some experienced volunteers who don't want to make public the discoveries after coastal erosions because evident because fear of sake of saking. So if these vestiges are never communicated, it will be protected and it could be unfortunately disappear one day. So I will finish up the, the perspective of our project. We have uh, finished uh, finished now. So this phase uh, of this project has recently finished, but we hope uh, that the network we have built will lay the foundation of a long-term coastal monitoring collaboration. Thanks to our experience, we have observed the necessity of more specific training in mobile technologies, especially for all volunteers, with maybe a simplification of mobile applications, but also the necessity of specific training in coastal archaeology survey at university in order to train students and a new generation of coastal observers. This vulnerability assessment could be also increased by, with a more efficient collaboration with regional and local associations so they could appropriate our monitoring tools and they can independently assure the monitoring of this coastal zone. Recent experience in France have also shown the necessity of a deeper collaboration between teams working on coastal issues in order to alert national authorities of the importance of a real strategy with a specific funds. In any case, this experience and decisions like this have evidenced the potential or will, will evidence the potential for international collaborative programs and should encourage us to consolidate interregional and European networks and maybe why not an European rescue strategy for coastal archaeology. Thank you for your attention.